In this video, we'll learn how to recognize when there's an infinite number of solutions when looking for the point of intersection of two lines. So here we're asked to find the point of intersection, if there is one, of the two lines xy equals to negative 1, negative 3 plus alpha times the direction vector 1, 1, and the second line xy equals to 3, 1 plus beta times the direction vector negative 2, negative 2. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to write each of these two line equations in their parametric form. So the first line would look like this. It would be x equals to negative 1 plus alpha, and y is equal to negative 3 plus alpha. Those are the two parametric equations of that first line. The second line would have parametric equations x equals to 3 minus 2 beta, and y is equal to 1 minus 2 beta. Now our next step is to equate the x expressions in each of these two lines, so those would be these two, x equals to negative 1 plus alpha and x equals to 3 minus 2 beta, and the two y expressions, so that would be y equals to negative 3 plus alpha and y equals to 1 minus 2 beta. So doing that we have the following equations negative 1 plus alpha equals to 3 minus 2 beta, and negative 3 plus alpha equals to 1 minus 2 beta. Rearranging these two equations to make sure that all the unknowns alpha and beta are on the same side of the equation, we find alpha plus 2 beta equals to 4, and alpha plus 2 beta equals to 4 again. Now we quickly see here that we have two times the same equation. So when we try and eliminate one of the unknowns, let's see what happens. If I call this equation 1 and I'll call this equation 2, my first step will be to try and eliminate, say, alpha inside equation 2. And so I will subtract equation 1 from equation 2. That's equation 2 becomes equation 2 minus equation 1. So writing this here, the first equation is unchanged, that's alpha plus 2 beta equals to 4. And the second equation, well, I subtract the first equation from it, so alpha minus alpha is 0, 2 beta minus 2 beta is 0, and of course on the right hand side, 4 minus 4 is 0. So my second equation is now 0 equals to 0. Now when this happens, as soon as we see 0 equals to 0, this means there's an infinite number of solutions. And what we're actually dealing with here are two coincident lines, meaning two lines which lie on top of each other. So every single point along those two lines coincide. So the number of points of intersection is infinite. We're dealing with two times the same line here. So remember, as soon as we see 0 equals to 0, we are dealing with two coincident lines, and there's an infinite number of solutions. And there we have it.